What is happening guys? We are back on those rock metal and punk album reviews. This is Big T as always and again we are here for yet another album review but today it's a very special album review. It is none other than the nine year long awaited Eve 6 Speak in Code album review. Nine years in the making people. Nine long years and oh man it was such a relief to get this in the mail the other day. I pre-ordered it. I put the bundle one uh, packaging unveiling video on there. If you haven't checked that out, check that out and you get to see what the other stuff looks like. But today we get in depth. Today we do the album review. Um, first of all, just let me say I, I got it real quick. Uploaded it in my iTunes. Got it on my iPod. I got it on my iPhone. And, 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 and I listened to it a dozen times already for just having it a couple days and I was blown away. It's everything that you can expect Eve 6 is in it's uh, actually a little bit more than I expected um, the, the one thing is that is definitely evident the the old Eve 6 is there um, elements of all three albums are there you got the original uh, you know you got the self-titled uh, elements horoscope elements it's all in your head elements every bit of its pieced together plus with a little bit of a new swag and uh, they have grown up that is another evident thing in here of course years have gone by lyrics uh, are uh, still very catchy and Eve 6 like but very more grown up and established and very well pieced together um, first of all let me just give you a rundown of the 12 tracks of the standard edition the uh, iTunes online uh, deluxe exclusive has uh, four bonus tracks here's to the night acoustic uh, inside out acoustic and underachiever and red and black this is the standard that has 12 tracks curtain victoria situation infatuation BFGF, Lions Den, Blood Brothers, Lost and Found Moon, Downtown, Trust Me, Everything, and Pick Up the Pieces. And let me just say, album opens Boom with Curtain. It's a nice uh, dance, um, poppy rock uh, dance thing, you know, going on. It really puts you in the mood and really sets the tone of the album. Then you roll into Victoria, the current single. Nice song about frustration, you know, really good. Uh, situation, uh, situ excuse me, situation, infatuation. Who knew a song about boners and you know, <laughs> and uh, attraction that would have such a rock, you know, uh, groovy sound to it, you know. And then you get in BFGF. That is uh, the more rock-oriented sound of the album. It's a really good uh, song. Um, uh, Lions Den. This I would. I'm gonna gonna say it right now. This is probably the song that I think um, could have been without on the album. Um, I know what Underachiever sounds like, and I would have uh, probably stuck Underachiever in the Lions Den place. That's just my opinion. Everybody else is gonna add their own. Uh, Blood Brothers really good. Lost and Found, another really good song. Actually, the first track released um, as the news for Speaking Cold rolled around. Uh, Moon, nice slower anthem, kind of reminds you like a Here's of the Night tone, kind of. Downtown, another groovy one. Uh, trust me, message is simple, you know. I'm the type of guy you can't throw very far, but you can trust me. Agree with, agreed. And then uh, everything, and then the uh, 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 12 pick up the pieces. So there's the 12 tracks. It basically gave you the kind of a rundown. Like I said, lyrics have uh, have grown up, but they are still very evident that Zeep Six. Um, you got some uh, the you know they're back at the controls with Don Gilmore in this album, who previously worked with them on Speaking Code and many others, such notable ones, Three Days Grace, Lincoln Park, you know, people like that. And uh, is some of them are very horoscope like, some of them are very it's all in your head, and then of course uh, the elements of their self-titled debut album back in 1998 are in here too. Um, so, really a good album. Uh, let me give you a look at the inside here now. The inside of it looks like kind of volume knob type thing. Lyrics in code on there. Really good album, guys. The Nine Years was well worth the wait. Um, I've listened to it a dozen times. Like I said, this is a Speaking Code is a really, really, really good album. I'm not a bit disappointed. The only thing, like I said, the Lions Den could have been without. I know a lot of you six fans are probably going to disagree, but that's just like I feel it's like the weakest song on the album, and I feel like they could have put Underachiever or Red and Black, you know, in that spot. But hey, you know what? It is what it is. I'm not going to complain. 
I'm glad the guys are back. I'm glad they're still around after all this time, after tasting success early in their lives, you know. I mean, hell, they got a recording track contract before they were even drinking age. But, um, the first album through Fearless Records, you know, um, it's not the 24th yet. 24th of April 2012 is the actual release date. It's only the 22nd. The pre-order people are special, got their packages, and as you saw in my previous video, that I had uploaded on here um, you seen what the other stuff like that looks like so um, now it's time to get down to business and um, being the Eve 6 is in my top two favorite bands out of the top five um, I have to give this a 9.5 out of 10 and the reason I cannot the only reason I cannot score this a perfect 10 out of 10 is because of the Lion's Den song I, I, I'm not saying it's completely terrible don't get me wrong but it could have been replaced with underachiever I think they should have put underachiever in right there I think that would have fit but excellent 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 album I love Eve 6 they're just great they're the type of band you can listen to anytime get things off your mind it's great stuff really 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 great stuff but um, put a stamp on this uh, official rock punk and metal album review official stamp review 9.5 out of 10 stars Eve 6 speaking code release date April 24 2012 12. first release through fearless records after a nine-year hiatus we finally get a new album we finally get new songs and it was worth the wait people if you did not pre-order it get your asses out FYE Walmart iTunes whatever on the 24th purchase Eve 6 speaking code you will not be disappointed people this is music good music for the soul this is what you need so get your asses out there on the 24th if you did not pre-order it and uh, it's well worth the money you will not be disappointed for those rock pedal monk rock metal excuse me rock metal and punk album reviews this is big T and as always and stay tuned people we got a lot of cool new shit coming on this channel peace out